Yo, what's up? If this year, I really just the past like month has been really crazy for the channel. Uh, I just want to thank you all for 1.2k. I gained over 400 subs the past 28 days. That is crazy. Yeah, I just want to talk about like how I started going to now because it's crazy. I've been on this platform for eight years. But only last year did I see any growth, and this year it's skyrocketed. So I just wanted to first of all thank you all for that. Before we get into the video, make sure to drop a sub and maybe even a like. You don't have to, but it would be greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel, and you'd be greatly helping my growth. Thanks. Now let's get into the video. It all started on December 27th, 2016, when this channel was born. But there was no real such thing as VR back then, or not in the way that it is now. It was like, you had like, what was it, CV1? And that was like, it. it. That's like the only option you had. I didn't have a PC back then. All I had was a crappy Motorola phone. Basically, I would make videos with my friend. We were just really just talking, you know, like like most shadow start, just random content. The issue is, is that most videos are deleted, and I have no way of recovering them. And the worst part is that I didn't even mean to delete them. I meant to like unlist them, but I didn't know how to. I thought deleting was unlisting, but uh, let's just say they're not the same thing. So I no longer have access to those. But yeah, after I had finished making the random vlog content, I moved into Geometry Dash. Yeah. Who would have known that my oldest video that is still up is a rhythm game. My main content now is another rhythm game. Look how it's come full circle. But yeah, I mean, I wasn't particularly good at Geometry Dash back then. And to be honest, I'm still not. Yeah, it was just screen recording and then uploading. I, I didn't even know editing was a thing back then. I thought that all YouTubers paused mid-recording. I used to do that a lot in the vlogs. By the way, there were vlogs released after the Jump Dash videos and there are some of the Jump Dash videos that are also deleted. So some of them date back like, God, six years. Yeah, I, I really have been here for a while. Damn, I'm, I just realized I've met people in Gorilla Tag who were born after I started YouTube. That's a crazy thought to have. No, I started to get bored of Geometry Dash, so I decided to move on to Roblox. Thank God, this is the content I hate the most on my channel. Please do not go back and watch my Roblox videos. They are terrible. They got like no views and I'm glad they got like no views. They were awful. So bad that that's all I'm gonna cover of them. Yeah, I just hated them. Okay, so I quickly realized just how bad my Roblox content was back then. I decided to move on to art and honestly, it's not that bad. Now, I'm no artist, <laughs> I'm not like that good at art, but that Mr. Beast logo is actually really good. But yeah, that didn't last long, and after that I moved on to Call of Duty. You know, I was growing up, I was like 10 or 11, so barely growing up. But I was growing up, so I moved on to Call of Duty again, that didn't last long, and I mean I wasn't particularly good at the game, it was alright. Yeah, that didn't last long, and after that was Fortnite Funny Moments videos, and by the way, during this time, most of my thumbnails were just downloaded from Google. None of them were actually made by me. Because back then, I was like, what, 10? I thought, I thought that was okay. Obviously, it's not, and I am owning up to that right now. I should have owned up to it earlier, but yeah, those are stolen thumbnails. I, th I think it's pretty obvious, but rest assured, all of my thumbnails these days are made by me. Let's talk about these Fortnite videos. Now, they were edited pretty well, and I did have some of my own clips in them, but they were pretty short, 
and again breaching the copyright it was they weren't that good we had like a couple clips each and they were really stressful to make because I just didn't want to make them because this is the point where I was trying to figure out what I want to do with the channel and thankfully now I've got that figured out it is still subject to change slightly but I've got my niche down <coughs> back then I was jumping around niches yeah um it was crazy period of my time because I was just I was really losing passion for YouTube at this point like if it wasn't for VR like me getting into VR I actually would have quit YouTube probably and probably just moved over to Twitch and now is for the chapter that started it all VR I posted my first ever Gorilla Tag video and it was instantly my biggest video and finally enough it was actually a YouTube short but um, we don't talk about that now I am so like anti shorts even though I post shorts like because I because I make VR content I feel almost forced to post shorts if I want any growth of the platform because like why would I spend like an hour making a video to get like 10 views where I could spend like a couple of minutes making a video and get a thousand views but yeah my girl tag videos were doing really well I, I hit 100 subs and then not too long after 200 300 400 and around that point is where I changed the geography videos for some reason I don't get me wrong I did not lost passion for VR I, don't, I still loved VR but I moved on to geography and I wouldn't say it's my biggest regret, but it is a regret. Now, sure, it was giving me the most views I'd ever gotten on the channel, but I lost all care for it, so I just went back to Gorilla Tag. I also started doing some chess videos as well, but they weren't really that important. I was just showing them because I felt like it, they had no impact on my channel. Yeah, I mean, after Gorilla Tag, I just kind of stopped for a bit. To take a break. It was only like what a week or two weeks. I don't even remember how long. No, it was a lot longer than that. Yeah, I took a break and posted it again, but it wasn't Gorilla Tag. It was B Saber. And then I went straight back to Gorilla Tag. Then that's when I was really starting to get tired of Gorilla Tag's community. I wasn't tired of the game. I was tired of the community. You know, with a game like Gorilla Tag. The community builds the game, not the developers. So, yeah, I'm kind of feeling the same about the game now, but I don't. I wouldn't mind streaming it every now and then. Whereas back then, I was having none of it. I just wanted to stop, but I kept going, and it didn't really pay off until YouTube added a little feature called vertical stream. Now I just walked right past it until I realized the numbers people were getting on them so I decided to try one because I had been streaming over on Twitch uh, I purposely kept that out as much as possible because it's not really relevant my Twitch and my YouTube are not connected in any way shape or form so I stream over on Twitch and as of the voice of this video I actually should be streaming Apex over on Twitch twitch.tv slash asmanalive if you want to watch me but um yeah so with this vertical streaming, I tried Gorilla Tag. Now um, I'd seen a couple of Gorilla Tag vertical streams, and I noticed that what most of them did was they just talked to the chat, which is fine. You know, if you want to do that, do that. But me, I wanted to be different. I wanted to do mini games on stream. This was the biggest like jump I had in growth. Like mini game streams really helped me. I to the point where I'm still doing them today. I'm still one of the only channels doing them. I'm no, I know I'm not the first one now, and I certainly wasn't the first one back then. But I feel like I have the best. Community wise, uh, I don't know. It's a mixed bag, but hey. The community, I love my community, man. We got people like I Am VR, Yellow Dragon, just great people. You can't forget Waffle, I Am Foxy. These are some great people who have been in my chat. Also, around this point of time, I decided 
what if it's able to take this vertical streaming format and do it with Beat Saber and it worked like a charm. Now you might be wondering why do I not stream Beat Saber as much now as I did back then? Well, to put it simply, Beat Saber has a lot of performance issues on Quest when it comes to mods. Um, this is nothing to do with Beat Games or the modders. This is just pure right because the hardware isn't really capable of it. But I'm still forcing it to do it. So it's kind of in this like grey zone of should I stream or not? Because genuinely it does make the game really hard to play. That's why like 90% of my videos will be done off stream. <coughs> I'd love to get videos done on stream. Because then I'm just multitasking. But it's just not possible because I cannot pass maps with the amount of lag I have. If you've joined any of my Beat Saber streams you know what I'm talking about. Also, um, okay so now I broke my control not too long ago. And this is where we go past the Beat Saber streams and where I return to Gorilla Attack. Now Gorilla Attack was um, it was fun. back then but it's even more fun now that I haven't played for a while. The issue is that I had one hand. Now when I started making videos on the game I also only had one hand. Not except for my first video. But yeah. Don't worry though. I have a second controller now. So I will continue to post both Beat Saber and Gorilla Attack content. And that brings me on to what the future of this channel has. And to be quite honest I'm not entirely sure just yet, but I have an idea. So I want to continue doing Beat Saber and Gorilla Attack as my primary focus on this channel. But I want to branch out to other channels. So that's why I'm going to be launching a new channel that has Apex and Fortnite content. Now how long will this last? Depends on how long I can keep my care for those games. But this channel, it won't be impossible for this channel to branch out to other games. It's just at the start it's going to be primarily Apex and Fortnite because I've been playing a lot of Apex and well, I know Fortnite is pretty popular right now. So I'm going to try and do a bit of both with that channel. Um, as of releasing this video, it won't be out yet, but I will have a community post to tell you guys when it's out. So be on the lookout. Yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, it'd be nice if you guys could get me over to 1.5k by the end of this month. <laughs> we made 400 last month, going from 800 subs to 1.2k in 28 days. So sure, you can go from 1.2k to 1.5k in 28 days, right? Seems doable. I cannot thank you guys enough. Yeah, that's going to wrap it up. See you guys, and you know what, have a nice day. And if you want to start doing YouTube, just DM me on Discord. I will give you a lot of tips that I have. I will also be releasing a video with something I use to make thumbnails. It's amazing. But yeah, see you guys, and peace.